Introducing the African Diaspora News Channel app, your gateway to stories that's overlooked by the corporate mainstream media. And we serve as the voice to the true power black community. Again, we got Dr. Candace Matthews. A lot of these documents, you know, looking at. We are committed to informing and educating through the power of media. This country is supposed to be about the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people and we are tired. With our platform, we're helping to end injustice by exposing it. Join us in standing for excellence in journalism and serving our community. Download the African Diaspora News app today. Hello, African Diaspora family. My name is Renee Lomorema, and I'm your host right here on the African Diaspora News channel, reporting live from Johannesburg, South Africa. And I'm so glad that you're joining us with Miss Naledi. It's yeah. so great to finally meet you. We only see each other on the platform without yeah. actually being in contact. So it's so good to see you. So good to see you too. So here today we're going to talk about the Bella Bill. Yeah. For those that do not know, the Bella Bill is the basic um, educational law amendment bill that has been introduced in 2017 and has been submitted in Parliament last year. So what the Bella Bill aims, I'm just going to give you a rundown of it, a roundabout of it. I'm not going to be formal about it. Um, it aims to make the government... Um, to, yes, the South African government to be in charge of our edu our children's educational life. Basically, they're going to be in charge of what they study in school, um, which medium of language they're going to use to study in school. Everything that we will not be aware of will be taught in school, all thanks to the government. South Africa's parliament has passed a major education bill that could see parents face prison if their children are not in school. Now, under the Basic Education Laws Amendment, which is also known as BELLA, they could be jailed for up to 12 months if their children are truant or if they are not enrolled when they reach school age. Now, BELLA also introduces a ban on corporal punishment in all schools. Now, that's not even what we're talking about, but it is the biggest education overall since the end of apartheid in 1994. Now, the governing party, the African National Congress, the ANC, says the bill will transform the education system to address historical and present challenges. However, the biggest opposition party in the country, the Democratic Alliance, DA, has condemned this bill, saying that it gives the state too much control over schools and will definitely lead to the collapse of education. Parents, are we ready for this? Are we even ready for such a bill? Yeah, and I think it is clear that the ANC is trying to push this flawed bill into law with by disregarding the majority voices of the South African citizens. Exactly, right. exactly. The Freedom Charter clearly states in the Constitution that the people shall govern. So for you to push this bill, to, to, to amend it, to become law without regarding us as parents and making, essentially making bystanders. Yeah, yeah, bystanders in our children's life kind of puts a wet blanket to moving forward moving yeah. into the new democracy i thought democracy was built to was made not built to empower. to empower us black people as we didn't have a voice before so, so right now it sounds like you're gonna be taking away our voices yeah and uh, this also raises a, an essential question right mm -hmm. about who the anc actually is truly governance for Ooh. right it does because i mean even in the clause 39 of the bill it actually mentions the minister has um has power, has power to, to make actually... this law, to make this policy, the Bella policy law. Exactly. Which aims now, now what are you telling me, Naledi, is that the minister can take a 12-year-old pregnant, for example, to take a 12-year-old pregnant girl to go get an abortion without her parents' concern. Yep, it clearly states that the minister has power to um, approve your children's teenage abortion and teenage pregnancy without the consent of parents. So, mm. uh, yep. Imagine, and now, what if the abortion does not go it's smoothly? What does this, this op exactly. um, t what is it? abortion operation does not go smoothly? Mm. So now we're going to take the responsibility for the after effect of the abortion. Yeah. So they are, they are just throwing everything in with no regards whatsoever about our feelings. Uh, but also, I think this is a, a, a good thing because it's happening before the elections, right? Mm -hmm. It says something. It says, us as citizens, we need to now remember this moment of the Bella Bill when we're casting our votes in, in May. Yeah, we need to do we that. To. We need to do that because now 
what they are saying to you guys, what the ANC is essentially saying to you guys, when we become in power again, when we are voted in power again, because they're not scared, mm -hmm. they're not scared that they'll be voted out of power. When we are back in power, this is what's going to happen. Expect the unexpected. Yep. The consensus among the speakers was largely opposed to the bill because of concerns over parental rights, education, quality and child well-being. Objections included external influences on education, a lack of stakeholder consultation and specific clauses on attendance, language policies and sexuality education. The inclusion of provisions for the criminal prosecution of parents who failed to ensure their children's school attendance was strongly criticized. An overriding objection was the emphasis on centralized government control of the education system. The majority of participants rejected the bill entirely, advocating improved education standards and increased consideration of parental and community input. I don't like this bill at all because now four-year-olds in, in, in preschool mm -hmm. rather they're going to be indoctrinated to study this uh, these sexual system systemic educational language rather that is used in school imagine a four-year-old learning about sexual orientation about that kind of right. exactly yeah. exactly yeah. that yeah. is not right i feel like yeah. parents should take charge first of all of of this law of this amendment will try as much to fight it off because essentially these children's lives are your responsibility the government does not care we have how many citizens in south africa 12 million citizens and we surely going to put the 12 million lives of our children yeah. in the hands of the ANC just like that. This is a critical moment. This is a critical it's moment. We've seen how the ANC yeah. governs in South Africa and for us to entrust them with our children's life really does not make sense. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. So guys, what do you think about this uh, Bella bill? Obviously, mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot that you have left out. For example, um, if a parent does not register their child at the age of five to six, mm -hmm. they will be arrested for six to 12 months. They'll be yeah, so such things we need to discuss about them. I am, I for one, actually, I agree with that. If you don't register your child to be in school by the age of five to six, yeah. then I think you are eligible to go to prison. And I think it's the right decision because our children need to be educated. I, I, I feel like the more our children get educated, yeah. um, the earlier our children get educated, the more it, it'll it'll get easier once they grow up they will develop i feel like they will develop to have a sense of independency if this bill is not passed they will have a sense of independency yeah. they will not they, they will be able to think for themselves and not rely solely on the government for for extra things yeah, yeah. i hear I, you right yeah i do still feel like the bill is flawed it is it shouldn't be approved and we should stand together as South African citizens to not get it approved. You don't, you don't want it to get no. I don't want it no. to get, uh, to, to approve it, man. Mm -hmm. Let, the ANC, I know they have the majority seats in the parliament. Yep. They have the, the, the final say, basically. But at the end of the day, guys, this is our country. The Freedom Charter says what? Mm -hmm. The people shall govern. So yes. this is us saying, hey, we are not with this with this bill we are not yeah. going through with it listen yeah. to us at the end of the day essentially this uh, is our country yes this is our country listen to us we don't want the better bill well this has been a really cool segment man share your opinion in the comment section we want to hear from you um and it's goodbye, goodbye. in the goodbye for now